First and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mahavah, Kakwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai. In who I reverence and honours to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very, very, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learn, learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days because you know we're living in the last days of the last days okay we're gonna flow with the spirit this lesson i've been wanting to do this the law verse faith the law verse faith gonna be a i want to make this too deep and even if it is a deep lesson i want to make it as simple as possible now, are we saved by the law within itself? No, we're not. We're not. You cannot be saved by the law within itself because if that was possible, then Yahweh Shai, there'd be no need for Yahweh Shai. So it's simple as that. So when you hear men talking about the law, the law, the law, the law, which I'm not mocking the law, but when you hear men talking about that, they're not putting the most important things in place. They're not putting the most important things in place, which is what? Faith. Right? Faith. That's what it's, it's about faith. And the reason why certain men talk about the law, I know why. Right? I know why. They just talk about the law. Right? Check this out. So we're going to start off on Matthews 24, 23, so like yeah. 23 right you're gonna find out a lot of men they don't they don't they don't have faith in Yahweh Shai they have they try to hold on to the law you know why because say if a man doesn't have faith in Yahweh Shai he will look at the law as his standard which it is it is a standard but what happens when you fall short of that law what happens see see this is like a Men think they can go around Yahweh Shai. You can't. If you don't have faith, you ain't going to make it. It's simple as that. You can, you can keep a thousand laws. A thousand. You can read all the Torah. The Torah. Tanakh. You can read all of that. You Old Testament only Israelites. Right? Only Torah. You have only Torah Israelites. Right? But they disrespect Yahweh Shai. They just look at him like he was just a regular... Man, go to Matthew 23 and 23. Hmm? What unto you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise of common and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. And that's what they would do as well. They would um, manipulate the, the weights to make more money and so forth and cut it short. Right? Minting, right? And anise and have come and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy and faith. These ought you to have done and not to leave the other undone. So the things you were supposed to deal with within the law was judgment. But yeah, that's all they dealt with. Remember, a lot of these men, they dealt with political issues and so forth. That's why you got a thing called the Saint the, the San Hend the Saint the Saint Hend Hendrin, if I'm saying it right. Right? They would deal with matters. Right? Like courts, judges. But they were not, they were not, they were corrupt judges. They were not rightful judges. They were corrupt. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, you ought to have done and not to leave the other undone. So, these people, they were blind, blind leaders. You blind guys would strain it and not swallow a camel. So they didn't really have it going. Right? Because they didn't really understand Yahweh Shai. They were stuck in the old ways of doing things right they were stuck in the old way of doing things okay so now we went to that Baba Kisha. we're going to go to Romans and let's speak upon the law deliverance from the law Romans 7 All right wait there's so much here there's so much here there's so much here I'm thinking where should I start should I start Romans 6 um Ooh, wait, there's some good stuff here. There's some good stuff here. 
Now we can we can go to Romans we go to Romans seven, right? Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law and how the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth, right? For the woman which have a husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he's living. According to the law, you're bound to your husband. Once you marry, you have to stay with that woman unless you divorce or one of you dies. But if her husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. Right? He think if the husband be dead, she's loose from that law. So then if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she be called an adulteress. Right? But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law that she may she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Wherefore, my brethren, you also are become dead to the law by the body of Mashiach, that you should be married to another, even to him who was raised from the dead, that we should bring forth fruit unto the heavenly Father. Right? Slow down. Wherefore, my brethren, you are also become dead to the law by the body of Mashiach. Right? You're no, you're no longer bound to the law anymore. No, you still keep it because... You're, you're following your Hawa so there's certain things you're going to do. You're not just going to do what you want. Because the law is so you, you keep things in order. Because if you didn't keep the law, that means you'd be eating pork, committing adultery and say, well, nothing's wrong with it. Right? <laughs> but we're not bound by the law. And it says, And to another him who was raised from the dead that we should bring forth fruit unto the heavenly Father. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, the repeated sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring fruit, forth fruit unto death, right? Which were by the law, the motion of sins that we went off, when we break the law, it brought forth sin. What is sin? Transgression of the law. It tells us that in John, right? And who came to take that away? Yahweh Shai, all right? But now you are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held that we should serve in the newness of spirit and not in the oldness of letter. But now we are delivered from the law. Are you reading this? I'm on Romans 7 and 6. But now we are delivered from the law. The old law of Moses. Now is there still things we keep within the old law of Moses? Yeah. But we're not bound by that anymore. That being dead wherein we were held captive that we should serve in the newness of spirit. So who bring in the newness of spirit? Yahabashai, through that sacrifice. Which men they don't they don't appreciate it because guess what? Bro, the Passover just went. Did you see and again they were in a certain men were in a demonic R spirit. Demonic. So, bro, you got to catch on to things and be like, yeah, some of these men were the same men. They were disrespecting Yahweh Shai. Right? But we're not going to get into that. The Lord's going to reveal where Yahweh Shai is going to reveal everything in true time and you're going to know who his true believers are. Because the scriptures also say, he that believes on him must believe in him in truth and spirit. Spirit by the newness of the letter. Not by the old law. I keep this law. I kept every Sabbath this year. I never broke one Sabbath, you know, but you're lukewarm, you don't have faith, and you're phony, and the Lord's going to find you out sooner or later, right? And it says, Baba Kishar, check this out. So we're serving now in the newness of spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter. What letter? The old letter, because it was done away when you read about it in Colossians... Bear me just a minute. In Colossians. Right. Now let's go to Colossians, Baba Kishar. A lot of men talk about the law, but they don't... Yeah, a lot of men, they have knowledge of the law as well. I give it to them. Certain men will talk about the law, but then when it comes to Yahweh Shai, they can't tell you... What can they tell you? The only thing they can tell you is Garden of Gethsemane. Garden of Gethsemane. Kephias. That's all they talk about. Yahweh, there was more to Yahweh Shai than that. Right? That's what they talk about. Right? Because they don't have Yahweh Shai. That's the first fruits. They were the men that were with Yahweh Shai, that were walking with him. So we're serving him in the newness of letter, not the oldness of letter anymore. Go, go to Colossians 2 and 14. Right? Blotting out the hand. Go to verse 13. And you being dead in your sins. 
and the uncircumcision of your flesh. Right? The uncircumcision of your flesh. You have circumcision. Right? You had the circumcised, because you even got men talking about that. Shut up to the, the to the circumcision. And the circumcision were the Jews that were circumcised, but guess what? Still didn't have faith. See, it doesn't matter if you're circumcised or, or what. Bro, the true circumcision is of the spirit. That's the true circumcision of the spirit. You repenting. You having faith. Right? Have he quickened together with him who you have a shite. Haven't forgiven you all trespasses. All, every single trespass. You brothers have been, and you've got to believe that as well. Don't walk around like, oh, I don't feel like I've been forgiven. Scripture says you've been forgiven of all your trespasses, all your sins. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances, according to the old letter, right? That was against us. It was against us because we could, when we couldn't keep it, what was, what, there was, there was um, blood that needed to be shed. Really, Owls, but if it wasn't owls, you had to offer up a what a turtle dove. That's how serious it was when you would go off. Right? That's why Yahweh was known as a sacrificial lamb for all of us. Right? And it says blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Whew. So the old law was nailed to the cross. And that's why you have said it is done. Yeah. It is done. Right? So yeah, it, it, it was done. It was done. Now we're serving you have in the newness of life, which a lot of men don't understand. Because they don't understand you have shy. Right? Still not growing. You've got men have been in the truth for eight, ten years. And it is good, to, obviously, to get a knowledge of the law because it's, it's there for a reason. Yeah, the law was created to make us um, perfected, but it never brought perfection because we're in this sinful flesh, right? But I know how men think, and men think, well, um, well, I don't have faith. So if a man doesn't have faith, what's he going to be doing? He's going to be looking at others and saying, well, you don't, you don't keep the law. So because you're not keeping the law, um, I'm going to try to condemn you, but you have faith. So you, the elect, they have a great amount of faith, right? The elect have, and this is what this is about now. And I think it's beautiful how you have a show set this thing up, how we set it up in the path of, you know what? You got to have faith in me. So now it's to the point now where you can't fake it. This is the point now where you can't you can't fake this thing. I say, well, I keep I keep the law, so I want to get into the kingdom because I keep the law. The Pharisees were keeping the law. Right? But they were being hypocrites at the same time. So now it's I think it's beautiful because now it's 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 all about faith. So if one doesn't have faith, you can't you can't just sneak on them chariots. It's about faith. And if you don't have it, well, the best thing to do, you pray for faith. And if you have little faith, Pray for more faith, right? Not to speak down on anyone. You pray for it. Um, last week, I'm not gonna lie. There was a little bit of doubt I had for about two days, but then I had to pray, get back into the spirit. You're gonna get the moments, but it's what you do in the time of doubt, right? Doubt and that fear of Satan, the unknown. That's not of the heavenly Father. You have a show, right? And Satan loves it when you're in doubt, when you're in fear. He works upon that. That's why we've got to be faithful. Right? You say you have faith and act like you have... Well, I don't want to say act like you have faith. Display the faith then if you have it. Right? So now we went into that Bible Kusha. Let's go to Timothy's. One and... Six. For some having swerved, having turned aside unto vain jangling. Empty talking, man. Just rambling, designed to be teachers of the law, understand neither what they say nor whether they affirm. So you got men that would talk about the law, but they never understand what they're saying, neither neither what they affirm. Right? 
But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Yeah. You should have seen, bro, when I first entered into a camp, you should have seen how certain men were going on. You know? You should have seen how certain men were going on. It was all about the law to them. All about the law. How they speak about Yahweh Shai. Like that, that was going to get them in, into a, a chariot. But now, like I did say, it is important. But that is, that's, that's not what's going to completely get you saved, even though it is important. So I'm not, I'm not mocking that at all because like, bro, it is important because there needs to be that standard, that righteous standard, and that righteous standard is the law. Because Yahushua did say, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if you love the Lord, you're gonna keep His commandments. You're gonna do that. And it says, but we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully, the right way, knowing this that the law is made for not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless, disobedient, ungodly sinners, keeping sinners. For unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers, key thing, right? Of mothers, manslayers. So that's who the law is designed for, right? Those that are, what's the word? Unruly. So those that are unruly, that's who the law is catered to. That's why he said I came out. Hello. <laughs> you, you, you're doing a good job there. So the law is made for what? Not the righteous, but the unholy. Right? That's who it's made for. Right? Those that are not walking in the way of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shem. Right? Those that are struggling. Right? To bring them back to righteousness. Okay? Come on. Come on. All right? understand this thing okay and at the same time i am careful because when we go to um i'm very careful what i say let's go to revelations hold on just a minute let me just pause this bring i want to bring this out because this ain't neglected because remember everything is a is a balance now do i keep the law I keep the law to the best of my ability. From the moment I first woke up to the truth, I thought, yep, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rock the beds, but I'm gonna keep the beard on my face. Second thing was get rid of the pork, get rid of the bacon. Third thing was, um, what else? Oh, stop smoking the weed. So there's a whole lot of things. There's a lot of things up there and, um, the Sabbath, which I still, I'm not going to lie, I still struggle with that. I still struggle with keeping the Sabbaths, man. And that really gets me down a lot of the time. Right? But if I, if I miss a Sabbath, I just keep it another another day. I don't always keep up with the Sabbaths. I'm not always good with that. Right? But I make a conscious effort to do that. The things I can do, I do that. But the Lord ain't just, he's not just looking at that. He's looking at, do you have faith towards him? Because there's people that do all these things, keep Sabbaths and do all the other stuff, but their mindset is not right with Yahweh Shai. Right? And I want to put this, quickly bring this up, Revelation 22, and jump to... Where was I, where was I, where was I, where was I? 12, and I behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work. So Yahweh is on his way, and he's coming quick to give every man according as his work shall be, according to what you've done. Right? I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments. That do. Right? Key thing. That do his command so the commandment this is blessing that do the command so you know we're talking about the commandments but i said it's not based on the commandments you know the commandments are precepts as well you know when you're reading the precepts right and the testimonies of your house when you're doing these things you're blessed right people when they think about the commandments they think about all 613 within the, the torah now, the commandments are proverbs, that's commandments there, right? 
and how to conduct yourself, how to do things and so forth. Okay. And it says when you keep those things and the commandments are in Galatians as well. Was it was it five and sixteen on down? When it talks about the fruits of the spirit, that's a commandment. Right? That's a commandment. Right? Fruits of the spirit. Joy, peace, long suffering. That's you keeping the commandments. It's not always the commandments is not washing your hands in front of a camera. I'm gonna wash my hands in front of a camera so I can seem holy. Bro, you're overdoing it, bro. Overdoing it. Right? It's not the wash of it's not the washing of cups. That's all fancy business, man. Right? And it says, check this out. Blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have the right to the tree of life, the kingdom, and may enter in through the gates of, into the city. For without our dogs and sorcerers. So this is how you have a label so as dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, and idolaters. And the law was made for these people when we went to Timothy's, right? So they can get on the right track. And whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Right? So I, Yahweh, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Yahweh, the day dawn star. So now we went to that Baba Kishar. What else should I go to? Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar, Baba Kishar. So yeah, we went to that. So you see the balance within, within the law. Right? You have, you have to use wisdom. Right? Faith, mercy, and judgment. And might as well shut off on the topic of faith. Right? This is Hebrews 10 and 19. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter right, into the holiest by the blood of Yahweh Shai, the holiest within the tabernacle, the temple, you would have the holiest of holiest. Which right at the back of the temple right which with the ark of the covenant would be and that represents what you have a shy right and you would have the cherubims on each side right by a new and living way keep new and living way now we're not doing things according to the old way which you have consecrated for us through the veil and remember that veil was over our eyes when we were lost we were blind but you have a shy removed that veil that is to say, his flesh and having an high priest over the house of God, right? which you would have in the ancient times. Let us draw near with a true heart, true mind, in assurance. You've got to be doing this thing true. You can't be on video talking about, oh, this man, um, I pray to be real, but you're not real. You're, you're not being sincere. If you pray to be real and you're still, you still being fake, then there's a problem there. You may need to pray more. With a true heart, because a lot of men don't do this truth with a true heart. Right? They come in with utility motives, deceit. With a true heart in full assurance of faith. That's assurance come from um, confidence. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. So we want to make sure our hearts our mind, are sprinkled from an evil conscience. Sprinkled with the blood of Yahweh Shai. And our bodies washed with pure water, which is the words. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. So once you have faith, yeah, it does become slightly difficult because now, yeah, you have faith now. Now you gotta hold on to it. Because everybody around you doesn't have faith. Right? So they're they're trying to, they're being used as vessels to try and break your faith. Right? You got people saying, now don't do this, don't do that, don't make videos anymore, don't do this. Go go to college, go to go to university. That's these are all spirits, man, that are sent to confuse you hold fast our profession of faith without wavering so we don't want to be raving firm for he is faithful that it promised and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and good work so another thing I've seen as well men they get a certain way when we talk about oh well you need to do more videos and you've got men getting all stressed out about that getting all funny about oh well why do I need to do why do I need to do more videos? Like, like that agitates you. We're provoking you to good works. Why are you getting agitated about it? Provoking you to good works, to do the right thing. 
Shouldn't be, shouldn't be getting upset. You shouldn't be getting upset, man. If we're telling you to do the work, you shouldn't be getting upset about it. Provoking to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. As the manner of some is. Right? But exhorting one another, and much more as you see the day approaching. So, faith, we've got to hold on to it and exhorting each other as well with that faith. But we do know, check this out. Hebrews 4, let us therefore fear lest a promise being left off of entering into his rest any of you should come short of it so you've got to fear, fear you have a shy we got to fear you have a shy lest you come short of it eh? we've had many men that have been in this truth they wake up one day I don't believe anymore but it was a process of time and you don't see them anymore they got right back into the world right back eh? and it says Brother Kishore but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Whew. Go to verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, that us would be the elect, as well as unto them, those that were supposed to believe, right? Men that crept in unaware, but the word preached did not profit them. So it says there was other men as well, but it did the word being preached, it wasn't enough, it didn't. It, it didn't it didn't do anything for them it, it didn't do anything for them they just saw it as well it's just some words on the page right that's how they saw it okay it did not profit them not being mixed with faith right so you have this has to be mixed with faith in them that heard it so when you're teaching this word you've got to make sure this truth that you're teaching you've got to make sure it's mixed in with faith because if it's not, then you're only, way, you're only fooling yourself. Mix with faith. So, you know, and for me, you know what you can do? If faith is really getting low, type in Noah's Ark or Solomon Gomorrah or so, watch a particular program with the ruins of what happened and all that. That should be able to boost your faith because you should be able to see that and say, well, that's really boosting my faith, you know? You should be able to see those things, you know, that's boosting my faith, right? So if you're, there's things we could always do, and the main thing is prayer if you're feeling weak in faith, right? But this is what it's about, because if you didn't have faith, go to Romans or James, what we can show. See if we can find it. Hold on just a minute. We've got James. Hold on just a minute. James 2 and 17. Even so faith, key thing. Yeah. Even so faith. Yeah. If it have not worked, it's dead being alone. Yeah. So the faith you broke. We do know there's going to be those in this last hour, second, that are going to be saved. But this is concerning those that have been called to do this work. Faith without works is dead. Because anybody can say they have faith, but they need some type of action to go with it. It says, even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. So, yeah, a man say that has faith and I have works. Show me that faith without thy works. Show me someone that, so, show me someone that has great faith without the works of faith. That being shown in, in action. Right? And it says, Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you thee my faith by my works. So she, you show me your faith without thy works. Paul was being a bit sarcastic with this. You show me thy faith without works. Because that's not really that's not that's not really faith, is it? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you my faith by my works. Because Paul, he actually was an example of the great works. Now, that's nothing to boast because the scripture says you are saved by grace and not works only. When you go to Romans, right? I think Romans 12. But there's still an action that goes with believing. You may even have, even have a woman, right? She ain't out there teaching. Right? 
what she's out there teaching but guess what she's doing guess what she's doing she's cooking for brothers right making it bro that's an act of faith right she's cooking for brothers right she's doing different stuff right for the akia right that's acts of faith right so with this i'm going to shut off low building this was edifying and to the next one shut up